Tonight, saved by one vote. Now, what's next? 65 Republicans fell just short of the 66 needed to expel Knoxville Democrat Gloria Johnson. And by our count, seven Republican lawmakers sided with her. That includes Representative Lowell Russell from Von Noor. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot spoke with that state rep about why he broke with his party. I spoke with Representative Russell after the vote. He said he voted to expel those two lawmakers, but not Gloria Johnson because of how they acted on the House floor. The, yeah, she didn't shout and uh, she didn't bring the megaphone in. She didn't use the megaphone. She didn't engage on the people in the gallery. Video of the protest on the House floor shows Representatives Jones and Pearson yelling and holding up signs while Gloria Johnson stands next to them. And the video was pretty powerful, is uh, really explanatory. Von Orr Representative Lowell Russell says that's why he voted not to expel Gloria Johnson. At the end of the day, I've got to live with what I uh, thought was right, and I just thought the vote that I did today was right. The three lawmakers say they were fighting for tougher gun laws. We called for you all to ban assault weapons, and you respond with an assault on democracy. Representative Russell says they went too far. I just thought it was just so egregious that it warranted expulsion. Those two members who were expelled from the House of Representatives can run again for that seat. In the meantime, the city council or county commission can fill that vacancy. Members of the Metro Nashville City Council have already said that they will send Justin Jones back to the Capitol. Back to you. Hey, thank you. Republican Brian Ritchie from Maryville voted to allow the Knoxville Democrat to keep her seat like he did for the other two Democrats who ended up losing their seats. Now, we reached out to Representative Ritchie for comment for his reason for breaking with his party, but have yet to hear back. Right.